money's the world's curse. May the Lord smite me with it. And may I never recover. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Tamar Mizels, and today we're going to talk about Jewish perspective on money and wealth. Should we aspire to be wealthy? Is money the world's curse? Let me know in the comments below from people you know that are rich and wealthy. Um, do you think that this is a good thing? Is it good to be wealthy? What is money? Money is an energy in the world that brings us together, right? I have my tomatoes, you grow your cucumbers, and in order to enjoy all the services, we have money that enables us to exchange these goods. So the world was designed in a way that we need each other, right? We're not self-sufficient. We need each other to uh, have each other's services and affect each other in the world. So this is important for the world to exist as we know it. If I were a rich man, all day long, I bid bid bum. If I were a wealthy man, is it good to be rich? On one hand, our forefathers, Abraham, Yitzchak, and Yaakov were rich. And also it says about a prophet, a Navi, that he has to be smart and brave and wealthy. So on one hand, the positive side of being wealthy is that we emulate God. We're supposed to emulate God. God is in abundance. God gives. And being rich enables you to give more. Also, it allows you to do more charity. But on the other hand, there is a darker side to wealth. And that is, it may never seem like enough. It says, Ohev kesef lo yisba kesef. Someone who chases money, um, he'll never be satisfied. He's always looking, you know, wealth has no end. He could always be wealthier and look at the person who is wealthier than him and never be content. Also, being wealthy can lead you to forget your God, you know, forget that you're, you're very proud that you made this money and you earned this money and you think that this money somehow belongs to you and it makes you proud. I realize, of course, it's no shame to be poor, but it's no great honor either. <sighs> so how about being poor? There actually is a definition in Jewish law for someone who's poor, and that is someone who doesn't have matayim zuz which is this sum of money that can last you for a year's, a year of living. And sadly, you know, today a lot of people are in debt and don't have this money a year in advance and live from paycheck to paycheck. According to Jewish sources, a poor man is considered dead. And part of the reason is that a poor person is very limited in the world and limited in his ability to do good. But also our sages teach us that it can lead to marital disputes and that it can also, God forbid, lead you to situations where you're stealing. Positive side are some of the negatives of being rich is that it leads you to be closer to God and to be more humble in this world. According to Mestilat Yesharim, a very basic Jewish morality book, both being rich and being poor are both trials, right? Being wealthy is also a trial. And we ask God not to put us in trials not to give us a trial. Of course, if we are put on these with these trials, if we find ourselves poor or extremely wealthy, then we try to do our best in those situations. The trial for someone who's wealthy is to see how well he gives to others and maybe how much he remembers that God is the one that gave him the wealth. So the recommendation is, is not to be poor nor to be rich, but to make a good living and be able to provide for ourselves and our family and of course give charity which is part of the Jewish tradition. Interestingly enough, research talks about how money makes you happy and at first it makes you happy a lot but over a certain amount of money the either it makes you a little bit happier or not happier at all. Um, so this is kind of what we're aiming to, you know, to provide a good living for ourselves and for our family up to a certain point. Our sages brilliantly realized that money is mostly a mindset game. And in a very famous Mishnah, they say, who is rich? Who in essence is rich? And the answer, someone who is happy with his lot. 
content with his portion and he's not focused on other people's portion and what they're doing, but he's happy with what he has. Poor mindset is someone who it's never enough for them. No matter how much they have, they're always looking for more and they're focused on the other person's portion and not theirs. Of course, there is a relation between this money mindset and the actual world. We want to have this money abundance mindset that we have enough we have exactly what we need and we're focusing on our own lot another interesting mindset is rambam who talks about you know the middleman someone who is balanced in his core personality traits and money gives us an opportunity to strengthen ourselves an interesting example he gives about money is the middle way is his tapkut. on one end we have someone who's chasing money for the sake of money and we have someone who doesn't chase money at all even for his basic needs and we have in the middle someone who uh, you know does what he needs to provide for his family so basically our sages teach us to be happy with what we have, not to strive for wealth, not to be poor, not to be wealthy. Of course, if you do find yourself in that situation, make the most of that trial that you were given. Hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And I discuss the holy books with the learned men seven hours every day. And that would be the sweetest of all oh. If I were a rich man Yabba-dibba-dibba-dibba-dibba-dibba-dibba-dibba-dibba-dibba-dibba-dibba-dibba-dibba-dibba-dibba-dibba-dibba-dibba-dibba-dibba-dibba-dibba-dibba-